Okay, let's see if we can make her mad right off the bat. My lovely partner. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Uh, just say what it is, okay? My wife has no idea what we're doing here today. I don't know what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, I got to tell you something. I read a story just a few minutes ago that really chafed my butt. Uh -oh. All right. Evidently, this Christy Nordham, the governor up there in South Dakota, okay. uh, evidently she had a mean dog. Okay. And uh, so she took the dog like any normal person would out behind the barn and shot the dog. Now, let me put my glasses on here. Here's the part that upsets me. You libtard pieces of garbage. Now, that's just my opinion. I, of course, you're not a piece of garbage, but you're nasty. All right, look at here. You, if you are pro-choice, if you are for killing babies, you have absolutely no moral ground to stand on because this lady shot a dog that was vicious, supposedly. All right? Understand that if you are for killing a child in a womb, you are so nasty, your opinion doesn't matter to, so, to polite society. And I got one more thing. No politician, not a president, not a congressman, not a senator, okay, can give you the authority to murder a child, all right? And while we're on that subject, if you are anti-gun and you're in the government, you should not be allowed to have Secret Service protection that is armed. You need to disarm all your security. Yeah. What say you, Mutter? All right. Listen, the, if you have an animal that is, uh, that is a danger to people around you, Correct. That, needs to, that animal needs to be destroyed Absolutely. for its own good. Okay. Now there are liberals that will, you know, people bleeding heart people that will, oh, we can rehabilitate the dog. Blah, 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 blah. Some animals are just mean for the heck of yeah. it. Okay. They just are. And some are being trained like that. Now I'm going to tell you something. Removing an animal that is dangerous is something that is in the Bible. A dangerous animal is contagious too. A mean dog will make other dogs mean. That's right. It's not safe when you have children around. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You guys like to kill children. Here's the thing. It's also biblical. Yes. The Bible says in Exodus, it's surprising. I was just studying. Oh. Or Leviticus. Uh, well, anyway, if you have an, uh, an ox that gets out and mauls somebody and kills them, if it was an accident, you're not liable for it, Right. But if you have an ox that gets out and you know that is it's prone to bite, hitting people, mulling people, and he gets out, then you should be liable for it. You are liable for it. Now, she has this dog that she knows is it's a biter and it's a mean dog. If that dog bites somebody, she will be liable for it. And, I mean... She did the proper thing rather than let this animal do uh, create more damage to other people or even to her own property. She destroyed the animal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you guys are all this. You don't understand. First of all, how hard it is to destroy an animal. It's tough. I've had okay. to do it and it's to rough. The, the most humane in the most, uh, the the best way to do it is for you to do it like she did shot real quick back of the head yeah. the animal don't even know what happened okay so don't tell me that making him suffer and may taking him put him in a crate and and keep him an isolated from other animals until he gets training now now no. friends no she did the right thing and i will tell you i will tell you he she did the biblical thing yeah, so. but yeah, that's the whole thing. I mean, <clears throat> look, if you're going to pretend like you have morals and a conscience and you hold the high ground, that's a physical impossibility. I mean, you're at, it's disgusting. All right. So um, 
You're okay with killing a baby, but not a dog. How about people first? Yeah, okay. Always, always. And your solution is the simplest thing in the world. If you don't want to have a child, just take a birth control pill or better yet, don't have sex. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but yeah, down. you guys all screaming about this. It was an animal. It was not a human being. You can't see the hypocrisy there. I don't think that you should have any say. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you believe that uh, you're pro-abortion and all of that, you really yeah. need to be yeah. quiet about an animal, okay? Right. Shut the heck up. Anyway, right? yeah. And uh, I'm sick and tired of seeing all these politicians walking around that are trying to disarm honest, good citizens, all right? Having being protected by firearms. No, you're against firearms. You say so. So therefore, your bodyguards don't need guns. This is your world. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyhow. Yep. But uh, yeah. Listen. Be quiet. Be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta you got tell no, you, you got no leg to stand on. This election that's coming up, okay? I, I'm just gonna. I would like to talk to the black community. All right. Now, look, I, I obviously I'm not black. OK, my wife is uh, not black. Uh, as you can see, she's got a better suntan. But anyway, guys, you do nothing but complain about the popo. Nothing. All right. They're out to get you. Right. But yet you keep voting for Democrats. OK, your cities are pieces of garbage. All right. How about you forget this? What would you call that? This me first black attitude, victim mentality and join the rest of the nation. We stand tough and we can reform this country. All right. Because I know you really believe this. You have been taught from the time you were in the cradle that you're not as good as the white man and you need special privileges to make it through this world. Yes, I so. promise you it's not so. All right. Every every human being yeah. is born with the same inalienable right. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I know the schools teach you this stuff because now I'm going to go back to my original thing. And look, we have to take the schools back. All right. Uh, look what's happening in these schools, right? They're turning your kids into sidewalk sissies. If they, I was listening to this lady yesterday. Ah. Uh, she's uh, an academic, a physicist, got his PhD and all her PhD and all of that. Right. And she was talking the way the system works on uh, research and things like that. And friends, the jig is up. The system is rigged from the bottom up. Yeah. From the bottom down and left to right. Okay. So. You know, the, it's just the, is the, the what I've realized is that the school systems, starting from when they're babies until the PhDs and all of this, okay, it's a system that is designed to feed itself so it can keep growing and it can stay alive paying the people on the very tippy top yeah. the most money, okay? And then the peons here get to do all the work and nobody's doing actual research, actual stuff like that. Is the same for everybody? I don't know. I don't think so. But it's uh, the institutions that she was talking about. Yeah. They're pretty famous and pretty big. So, guys, uh, if you can homeschool your kid, you know, do it, do it. And then and then send them to to a community college and so that they can figure out. Yeah what they want to do, put them out there in the workforce for a year before so they can appreciate what it takes to earn a paycheck. Absolutely. Because you have 18, 19 years old, you know, 20 year old big kids graduating from college. No one know, owes uh, you know, a living. Yeah, they don't right? know how to make no a one. living. Yeah. You know? And then they're shocked that, it, right. that they, they can't just step out of college into a, uh, you know, six figure salary and have the blessed life that for some of us took decades to build. Let me tell you something. It was like uh, when me and my wife first got married, we couldn't afford to buy a house. But heck no. We lived in a little crappy one room apartment. All right. And uh, we had to work. OK, as shocking as that is. And I remember when we had kids. 
bunch of kids. We were actually on government assistance for a while, oh, yeah. all right? The food stamp routine, it. and we, we needed it. We yeah. couldn't have fed our kids without it. But it was a helping hand that I was eternally grateful for, grateful for, right? Yeah. But you can work your way out of this. i tell you the one piece of advice my dad gave me when I was very young and it stuck. Matter of fact, it's the only good piece of advice he gave me. He said, son, go to work. Everything else will figure itself out. But go to work. Go to work every day. And everything else will work itself out. And it does. I used to listen to this. I told you before uh, this podcast, This American Life. Now, there was one episode that, have, that they would, there was uh, regarding the crash of the market. Uh, you know, in 2008, 2009, oh, yes. where we, I mean, everybody lost their shirt. And the houses were worth nothing and everything else. There was this one young man that had this big, beautiful house, the, all these things. He had, you know, people were making money hand over fist before the crash, okay? And there's another thing. But what he said, when he lost his house and obviously it ruined his credit, ruined all of this, he was all this stuff. He says, but what he did, said was really revealing. He says, look, Thinking of it now, I could have, I could have adjusted my way of living, and I would have been able to pay the house off, and would have been able, I wouldn't have been able to have vacations and all this other stuff. But I could right. have saved the house, and a lot of people could have done that, you know, fix their stuff and things like that. Their, their, um, give the adjust their way of living so that they could save their houses, and then maybe the crash wouldn't be so bad. But well, what I'm trying to get at is. We are uh, very blessed, and we're in the position that we are. Our yes. home, our, our our vehicles, and things like that. But what I want to tell you is, we don't want to. We don't live in this huge mansion where everybody has a bedroom and things like that. We are just our way to live and to our means. Right. Okay. Nobody has a bed. We don't even all have a living room here and things nah. like that. Every not, Bedroom, kitchen. living room, offices, it's all right here in this here room. It's very simple living. Right. And if you want to if you want to have a very simple living, you can afford it. Yeah. Okay. We got a small piece of land. It's ours. It's paid for. And we did this by working. All right. Yeah. I mean, no one can give you anything. Who told you when you're twenty two years old you should be able to afford a house and two automobiles? Because that is not so. It's never been so. But I will tell you one thing. You guys really need to wake up. Now, I'm a believer in the uniparty. I don't really believe that there's a Republican and a Democrat side anymore. I believe they're both after the Bill of Rights. They want to strip them of you. But I also believe there's subtle differences. And traditionally, this country does better under a Republican, financially. Now, you look at everybody that's screaming, okay, uh, the Democrat side of this whole thing, if there is one, right? It's always really rich people. Rich actors get up there and sing Kumbaya. There's one of these rich actresses that adapt, adopted three black ladies and turned them gay and dresses them in women clothes. Now, if you want to be mad about something like that, black community, that's what you should be mad about. But the only exception to the rule, and God, this, this, this pains me because the fellow was a damn rapist, in my opinion, Bill Clinton. The economy was fantastic under Mr. Clinton. And I really disliked that man. I mean, they had to pay off like 12 women he slept with, okay? That's a lot of paying off. And they did it with taxpayer money, by oh, the way. Oh, don't get yourself. This yeah. is not their money. This is your money. Yeah, this is your money. But I'm just saying, try voting in a different way. Because you guys like to think that the Republicans are the rich side. That's not the truth. The truth of the matter is the power elites are all Democrats. You think Bill Gates is a Republican? Heck no. You think that feller, what's his name, Mark Zucker turd? Yeah, old Mark Zucker turd. You think he, no, he's a libtard. Come on, people. I mean, yeah, stop looking for handouts. Let's all work together and fix this problem. Yeah, let's stop fighting yeah. each other. Yeah, and remember...
people first. An animal is an animal, okay? And I'm sure she had a good reason for doing that. If she did it, I don't know. Maybe she exaggerated for her book. Who cares? No, 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 no. If you're into murdering babies, you get no opinion on this, all right? Just saying. Yeah, and I mean, again, ultimately, the what the the one that's gonna judge her. Yeah. He yeah. already knows. Yep, good Lord's going to do that. Yeah, he knows. Anyway, we'll keep right. this kind of short. God bless everybody. Bye. All right, how do I turn this off? Just push in the middle. What, where's the middle? Oh, I got to move this thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night. <laughs>